Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm down here at the barn and I'm getting ready to clean the barn from the girls. We usually do spot cleaning daily so that they're not laying on anything wet at bedtime. Um, but I wanted to, go, wanted to go over who we um, have sold out of the little boys and who is still here. So I'll be putting some clips in as I go along and show you who they are, who their mom and dad was. Um, and then the owners, the new owners have actually sent some cute little videos and some of them just pictures of them at their new home. So that's kind of cool. So let me show you first who we still have on the farm. Okay, so these are the three boys that we have left. Come on over here, babies. Okay, so this is Snickers boy, Lucy's boy, and then, oops, and then that's Willow's boy. So originally we were going to keep Count Chocula as a buck for our farm, but we decided as I watched him grow that he was kind of on the small side, um, wasn't quite shaping up to look like I wanted him to look like. So we decided that we'd go ahead and sell him. Um, and then Lucy's boy, he was one of the quints that was born. And then Snickers boy, who I was going to try and sell as a buck, the, the red one over here. But they're nine months old now, and we haven't had any interest in any of them as a buck. And I mean, probably now that I've already banded them, we will have somebody to call. But, oh well. So I've banded all the boys. They got banded by the vet last Thursday. So they're feeling better today. Today's the first day of them feeling really good. They're actually walking normal. They're not tiptoeing on their back hooves. Um, I think they actually feel good today. It takes a little while. Um, but anyway, so these guys are still available. They are going as withers. So if you know of anyone who's looking for a wither as a pet, these boys are so super sweet. Oh, don't lay against the fence. I think the fence is on. I don't know why he's not getting zapped. That's interesting. Maybe I unplugged it. I don't know. That's really interesting. I'll have to check the fence out now. <laughs> but anyways... So they are available. So if you guys live local, we are willing to transport a short distance, but these guys are super sweet and they'll go as withers now. Otherwise, they're just going to stay on the farm and be loved here until we can find a home for them. Okay, so now I'm going to go over who we have sold and who's left the farm. So we did sell Lucy and Apollo's boy. Um, it's the white wither that I just showed you. It's his brother. Um, he was really a nice looking Nice looking boy. I wanted to keep him myself, but we have four bucks, so we don't need any more. But anyway, so he went to a good home. Um, his name is Billy and um, he's actually was sold as a buck. So we registered him and um, he's going to be uh, getting a girl friend or two in the next year, probably. Um, he has two little pygmy brothers that were also picked up on the day that they picked him up from another farm. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's Billy. So he went to a really sweet farm. And then let's see, we did, oh, let's see, I don't even think I went over the first two that we sold, but I can't remember what their name is. I'll have to type their name in here on, on the screen here with their pictures once I figure out what their names were. I can't remember. That was a while ago. So a few months, a couple of months ago, we sold Snickers, other little buck, um, as a wither. So he went as a wither and we sold Lucy's littlest one. He, he was our bottle baby with his sister Piper. Um, so we, they went to the same home together. Um, I'll get their names, but they have a really cute home and now they think they have four. No, they have six withers now, I think. So yeah, so they have lots of little, lots of little friends to play with. So that was Lucy and Apollo's boy for the one. And then the other one was Snickers and Zeus. Okay, so they went, they were the first to go. And then Billy was the second to go. And then the last two that went were Toffee's two little boys. They went as Withers also. Um, they were the solid white ones. Both of them had blue eyes. So I'll put a picture up here. 
and they were Toffee Apollo kids. Um, they went to the same farm and they have a, another wither on that farm. So the other wither's name is Larry and then they were named Mo and Curly. So I've got some cute little videos that I'm gonna put up right now of them. And they also have a doe on the farm. So it's a cute little situation too. So I'll put those videos in right here so you can watch them. Wanna come? Get off me. Get off. <laughs> And that's about it. I mean, everybody else is staying on the farm. So we did not breed anybody um, for the fall for spring births because we had all those boys. We had nine boys born last year and three girls. So we sold everybody but the three boys and then we kept the two girls. So two of the girls. And then I did another video at the beginning of when um, we got rid of McQueen and Sally. So they went to a cute little farm nearby too. They didn't have any other goats. But anyway, so that's that. So now we just have these two. So, oh yeah, so breeding. So we didn't breed anybody for the springtime, which I'm a little bit sad about because I see everybody else's goats giving birth and having these little bouncy babies. And we used to love, enjoy the summertime of playing with them and getting them tame, but we won't have that this year. So what we decided to do, because I'm making soaps, um, we decided that we would divide the herd up to breed two or three at a time, one in the fall and two or three for the spring. So that way, I, that way I would always have a continuous cycle of milk. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll breed probably around May, end of April, sometime in May, we're gonna breed Willow and Ivy is who I've chosen to breed for fall. So Ivy will be a first freshener and we'll breed her to Zeus. And then Willow, I think I'm gonna to breed to Apollo this year. Last year we bred her to um, Zeus. Beautiful babies, but I think I'm gonna breed her to Apollo this year. And then next spring, and then in the fall, November, December, we'll breed Toffee and Snickers. And we'll probably breed one of them to Chester. I'm not sure which one. And then Toffee always gets bred to Apollo and Toffee has very strong genes for these gold babies because every single year she's had nothing but gold kids. So I'd like to break that up and get another color from her, but her and Apollo do make beautiful babies. So I'm not sure. I might breed her Chester's gold though. So if we still have Ivan, because he's for sale, our black buck, He's for sale. If we still have him, I might use him for her and then maybe get some some variegated colors that way. But again, Ivan's mother is gold because that's Lucy. So I don't know. I think Toffee just has a very strong gene of gold babies because two years in a row, she's had six gold babies. So that's a lot. So anyways, we're not breeding Lucy this year. Um, we'll see about next year for the fall lucy prolapsed but she had five babies in there and it kind of scares me that she might have that amount again um the year before she had triplets so we're not going to breed lucy this year i don't know if we'll breed her in the fall for the spring or not i'll talk to the vet about what she feels would be good for lucy or if we're just going to retire lucy um, I don't want her to have that prolapse again. Granted, it didn't give her any trouble once she gave birth. It was fine, but it just kind of, it took her a long time to recover. We're just now getting the weight back on her. I stopped milking her, which 
I was really sad about because she's my big, biggest milker. So I stopped milking her. I dried her up and we've been like forcing um, her diet, trying to get her back into shape. And she's looking really good now. So we'll see about breeding her in the future. I haven't quite decided. But anyway, so that's it. That's the ones that have left the farm. And if any of these three boys leave, I'll be sure to let you know. Or if Ivan gets sold, I'll be sure to let you know. But otherwise, the next video I'll be doing is who we're breeding and who we're breeding to who. So I haven't, I mean, Ivy will definitely be bred to Zeus because she can't be bred to her brothers and she can't be bred to her father. So she'll definitely be bred to Zeus. Willow, she's my, she's my coin toss. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I'll breed her to Zeus again this year. It'll either be Apollo or Chester, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we have to going on. Um, other than that, that's about it. So come in May, we'll come May, we'll be doing a couple of breedings for fall, and that'll be a new adventure for me. But um, other than that, that's it. So I'm gonna get back now to cleaning the stalls. Um, get the girls fed and milked and get the boys done and we will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.